I'm going to show you how to make a one point perspective and basically just to set it up and then go back from there. So there are two arbitrary things, but once you make the decision on the page, they are no longer arbitrary, they're very specific. The first one is the horizon line, which can be really anywhere on the page, but it is the left-right direction that you want to read as a horizontal. So I'll just do one right here. By the way, you can always make a straight line along with the page by using your finger as a guide. The second one is the vanishing point, and for a one-point perspective, that should be in the middle of the page, so I'll just put it right there. Okay, what is the vanishing point? The vanishing point is your eye level in the space. That's true for every standing person, if you're standing. So they can be right in front of you or way far away, but it's the eye level of anyone standing in the space. This, then, is the ground level. And that dimension is going to be the same throughout the drawing. So, from the vanishing point, I can draw forward like this, project over, and essentially establish the height. So this looks like it's two of the eye level dimension, x and x. So this wall is twice as high as my eye level in the picture. So I can draw a wall that or a short wall. All horizontal lines in this drawing vanish to the vanishing point. So these are all walls that are pointing toward the vanishing point. I then can mark off squares on these walls like this. Once I have one that I think looks like a square, I can draw a diagonal that's perpendicular to it and a diagonal and that's how I mark off dimensions that are receding toward the vanishing point. I can draw circles inside these squares. I can draw irregular shapes. Anything that I can sort of draw inside a square. A square, a triangle, I can draw in perspective by using squares as a guide. So I can make, let's say, an archway by drawing a circle. Etc. Is that five minutes? Five minutes.